हेलो एवरीबॉडी आई तुषार जैन सी एफ ओ एंड रिसर्च हेड ऑफ अजय एस्टो मनी गुरु एंड तुषार ग्लोबल सर्विसेज डॉट कॉम वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे ऑन सिक्स मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर टूडे इन दिस एपिसोड वी डेल्व इन टू द डायनेमिक वर्ल्ड ऑफ कॉपर अनिंग इट्स रिसेंट परफॉर्मेंस एंड वॉट लाइक्स अड लेट्स डाइव इन लेट्स किक स्टार्ट विद अ लुक एट द नंबर्स लास्ट फ्राइडे एल एम ई कॉपर प्राइस इज क्लोज एट नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी डॉलर्स पर टन मेकिंग अ नोटेबल अपटेक ऑफ अराउंड वन पॉइंट सिक्स एट परसेंट हाउ एवर टूडे फी सी द एल एम ई ट्रेडिंग रिमेन्स क्लोज ड्यू टू द पब्लिक हॉलीडे पुटिंग अ पॉज ऑन द मार्केट फ्रेंजी बट इफ वी सी द कॉपर प्राइस एट द एम सी एक्स दैन वी कैन सी दैट दे आर अप बाई अराउंड वन परसेंट एंड आर ट्रेडिंग एट अराउंड एट हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थ्री रुपीज ऑल्सो इफ यू लुक एट द स्पॉट प्राइस इन ओडिशा कॉपर आर मेच्योर कैटेगरी इज ट्रेडिंग एट अराउंड एट हंड्रेड एंड टेन रुपीज एंड इन रायपुर स्पॉट कॉपर आर मेच्योर प्लान प्राइस आर समवेयर एट अराउंड एट हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी रुपीज एंड एमेच्योर भट्टी प्राइस आर समवेयर एट अराउंड एट हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एट रुपीज सिमिलरली रायपुर सिमिलरली जमशेदपुर स्पॉट प्राइस आर ट्रेडिंग Uh, if we see, then the copper scrap is trading at around eight hundred and thirteen rupees, and if we see the Chennai spot, then we can see that copper amateur prices are trading at around eight hundred and twenty-two rupees. Also, if we see the Bangalore spot, then we can see that copper amateur plant prices are trading at around eight hundred and fifteen rupees. Amateur butty prices are trading at around eight hundred and thirteen rupees. Zero casting rod prices are trading at around eight hundred and fifty-three rupees. Super D category at eight hundred at eight hundred and sixty eight rupees. CCR eight hundred and forty eight and CC rod are trading at around nine hundred and twenty two rupees. So these were the spot prices of the copper at various locations in India. Now shifting our focus to the SHFE that is Shanghai prices twenty four zero four copper contract. It settled at eighty one thousand six hundred and fifty one per ton. With today's trading reflecting a slight dip to eighty thousand nine hundred and sixty-five yuan per ton, and is down by around zero point eight six percent. Now let's discuss the demand and supply dynamics shaping copper's trajectory. Despite a surge in spot trades and elevated copper prices, market sentiment remains cautious. The declining U.S. dollar index, indicative of a slowing economy. has lent support to copper prices however inventory cuts and production halts by some businesses have cast a shadow of uncertainty from a supply standpoint the shfe to lme copper price ratio has remained subdued accompanied by a decline in imported copper although domestic refineries are undergoing maintenance the market hasn't witnessed a supply crunch However, rising consumption, uh, rising consumption and dwindling downstream purchases pose challenges. Recent statistics reveal a decrease in copper stockpiles at LME registered warehouses, standing at 111,300 tons. Similarly, SMM copper inventory in China witnessed a decline, while MCX copper inventories stood at one. Million nine hundred and twenty-two thousand seven hundred and forty-four tons as of April twenty-nine. In the realm of news, Shanghai copper prices flattered post-holiday, mirroring losses in London amidst a stronger dollar and substitute demand from China's property mar- market. The closure of the London Metal Exchange for a public holiday spurred a rebound in the dollar index, making greenback-priced metals costlier for the other currency holders. Despite speculations of smelter output cuts due to limited mine supply, data indicates no significant reductions yet. However, signs of a higher demand emerge as China's first quarter GDP. print underscore a shift favoring commodity demand particularly in the renewable energy and electric vehicle sectors now what does all this data translate to according to ajay stomani guru while copper prices currently exhibit positivity cautions is warranted our analysis suggests a potential weakness looming within the next 2 to 4 days stay vigilant folks viewers 
you should go through a standard disclaimer also that all the information research and, an- and analysis provided uh, in this episode and on our channel are purely for research training and educational purposes we will not be responsible for any profits or loss if in case you take any trade and if you take any trade then do consult your personal wisdom and your personal financial advisor before transaction so that's all for today's episode that's wrap up our comprehensive analysis of copper prices remember to subscribe for more insightful updates until next time happy trading and also you can contact us for our paid services our contact details are given in the description as well as on the screen thank you and good day